All right, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Rob doing a quick trailer reaction to what I didn't know anything about. I Maybe I'd heard something a long time ago, but uh, uh, I just kind of went over my head. Uh, so this is the new uh, Amazon Prime show that Matthew Weiner is making, uh, the guy who made Mad Men. I am currently re-watching Mad Men uh, in its entirety. Um, and so I, I'm, I'm pretty freaking excited about this because uh, Mad Men is, one, is a really, really great show, in my opinion. Um, it captured the, the whole changing of the, uh, you know, like the start of the sexual revolution and just uh, the way men were and the way women were and how that was all changing uh, is, is still really, really relevant sometimes really upsetting <laughs> but anyway uh, so he's he's already got that show and now he's got this one the Romanoffs it comes out October 12 2018 and so it's coming up pretty quick and I guess there was a lot of like hush hush around this um, that nobody really knew anything about it except it's called the Romanoffs and it had something to do with the you know Russian family that uh, was slaughtered uh, and that the son and daughter, one of the, the, their bodies were never found or something. And now it's been kind of a thing over the years for people to claim that they're uh, part of this royal family's lineage. Um, I don't know. I guess it's kind of like how people say they're part Indian. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if it's status or, or what. Um, so some details have come out and now they're saying, so it's an eight episode thing. It's an anthology series uh, that... Every episode is um, a different story, a different cast, a different group of people, all in some way or another claiming to have some sort of relation to the Romanovs. Um, what he had said, I guess, was that, you know, in this world of social media, supposedly we're all closer together, but really we're further apart, which is true. Um, also, like, that this is part of, like, one of the biggest unsolved, like, cold case crime stories where nobody really knows, like, what happened to like the son and daughter uh, of this family. And so um, that premise alone is pretty good. Um, I would like to also think that it's also this like celebrity obsessed culture. I mean, fucking for real. Uh, you know, where our royal family is the Kardashians. <laughs> People still pay attention to the royal family. Like they're, you know, I don't know. And, and so it just kind of makes sense that there would be people that want to grasp on to any kind of fame by saying, oh, well, yes, I come from the famous Russian royalty, you know, just, you know, talking out of their asses. Um, and I, I'm kind of fascinated by that kind of obsession, as long as it's done well. Because if this was just some trash on, you know, whatever other channel you know, some network show where they're almost like celebrating the mediocrity of people's obsession with celebrity. Um, I would be, I would probably throw up all over the room, <laughs> but to put it mildly, um, but with Maggie Weiner at the helm, I, I can't help but think that this is going to be something special. Um, I have like the written thing and then I started seeing the cast and I was like, holy shit. So we've got like Aaron Eckhart, uh, Catherine Hahn, Christina Hendricks, Diane Lane, Rodda Mitchell, Amanda Peet, Corey Stoll, uh, who else is in here that I can... Carrie Bichet, John Tenney, Griffin Dunn, Paul Reiser, Emily Rudd, Clea Duvall, uh, Mary Kay Place, Noah Wiley, wow, Ryan Livingston, John Slattery, fuck yeah, uh, I love me some uh, <laughs> John Slattery, uh, who else we got on here? Uh, well, as the further down you go, the like worse the stars get usually on these things. But that's a lot of damn people uh, in this show, and so I, I also like that it. it's like going to be a true anthology uh, series where each episode is different, like the Twilight Zone, not like Castle Rock, that is an anthology being called an anthology show that each season will be different, kind of like American Horror Story, which. I also don't really care for that much. Um, it's kind of hit or miss with me. I like big concept that, you know, each episode, but it's all connected. Okay, so like American Horror Story is all connected in some way too. Um, but 
this is this with the pedigree that it has behind it i don't even know what we're watching now <laughs> but with the pedigree behind it with Mad Men and everything i i truly believe this will be something special it makes me want to i'll definitely be keeping my amazon prime uh every time i think i might get rid of my prime then they have jack ryan and now they got this uh primes uh got a good track record for movies and tv shows already with man in the high castle and now they got the expanse so they're really starting to build up a pretty decent pedigree uh and this starting to look like another good thing as well so well, here's hoping that uh Matt, matthew weiner can hit it out of the park again um this is kind of a tricky uh idea it's definitely ballsy the subject matter is something that well i don't fucking care about the Romanoffs and I, I hate celebrity obsession culture um, but if it's done right uh, where I won't want to hang myself after every episode because a bunch of people acting like a goddamn idiots then uh, I think we're looking at something really cool here and I'd definitely be interested in reviewing it so anyway that's my take on it uh, sorry if there's like some i'm throwing shade at people if this i've said some things that you didn't like about uh things you like remember this is just my stupid ass opinion uh feel free to click off as soon as you hear me say something you don't like if you feel like you need to rip me to shreds in the comment section know that i will remove your comments and probably mute you if you are too nasty so anyway <laughs> this trailer reaction turned into kind of Kind of went off the rails there, but anyway, I'm just being honest because um, people take things way too seriously. Anyway, this is Robert Smirking on Reviews saying, what do you guys think about this show? Are you ready for it? Because I think I am. And I actually really, really like that we don't know much about it except the general premise and that it's an anthology and that it's got a bunch of different people in it. So anyway, this is Robert Smirking on Reviews saying, we'll see you on the next video. Have a great Sunday and have a great... End the video, Rob.